Hi guys, it's Bella. So today, so today I'm making a video on is your horse's bad behavior because of pain. So yeah, let's get started with the video. It's all because of you. All because of you. It's all because of you. So I'm going to be like looking at the screen instead of like right at you because I'm reading what I, <laughs> what I wrote for this video. So how to decide if your horse's bad behavior is because of pain or because they're just acting badly or you know other things like that. So the most important thing you can do is to know what is normal for your horse. So you can like detect early signs of lameness or illness by knowing what is normal for your horse. So questions to ask are, is your horse laying down more than normal? Are they standing a certain way that they don't normally do? Are they being more rowdy when you're tacking up, when they're usually quiet and calm? Are they not eating their food right away? So, stuff like that. Sometimes when you're riding, horses will try to give you signals that they're in pain. And sometimes this behavior can be seen as bad behavior or that they're just acting out. But... Yes, an example of this is when, okay, so I used to be a very, like, emotional rider when I was young. Um, I would get really upset at situations, or I would be super lovey-dovey, like, oh, you're so cute, like, such a good horse. Um, and my quarter horse, Gypsy, would sometimes not move. And when I asked her to move, she would pin her ears back at me, and if I kept pushing her to move, like, move, she would back up, or she would get really mad and try to rear, and I always thought that it was something that I was doing, and I just didn't have confidence in myself as a rider. I was like, I must be doing something wrong, and I tried this and that, and nothing would work to get her to move and like be happy about it and be willing to move um so as i was riding i would get increasingly frustrated at her and you know she'd be fine for a couple minutes and then she would stop and not move or she would turn really fast and i didn't know it was coming so that was some issues and i would just get so mad at her and at the end of our rides, I would just be in tears, yelling and hitting her and trying to lunge her, but, and she would pin her ears back at me, and I'd just, I'd be like, just sell her, or like, she hates me, and all these kinds of things, and I would just get so frustrated, and I just didn't want her anymore. I was like, I can't deal with this, she doesn't like me, must be me, you know, all these things and I would just get so emotional and I wouldn't be calm and try to figure out what was wrong I would just keep trying and trying and trying and trying until we were both annoyed at each other and we both held grudges against each other and yes but when I was working with her on the ground she would follow me around like a puppy dog and do whatever I wanted with her like no problem at all she'd be willing to move on the ground and willing to disengage her hindquarters and lunge around me and all these things. She would stand perfectly tied and all these things, you know. And so I was like, she must not like me riding her. Maybe she just, I don't know. <laughs> I could not figure it out. Um, and one day my mom was like, maybe she's in pain because she obviously likes you on the ground. And I was like, well, yeah, because I feed her. 
but I thought about it and I was like, there's no way because all of my tack fits properly and I'm not rough with my hands and her feet are trimmed right and I couldn't think of anything. So I came up with that it was probably internal. Like something that I couldn't control with my riding. So, so after like searching on the internet and reading about all kinds of things I could do to make my horse willing to move, I decided to have a chiropractor out for her. Um, and they told me she was way messed up. Like... One shoulder was higher, and, you know, all these sorts of things, and I was just like, what? And, yeah, so once he adjusted her, you could hear, like, popping and cracking, and he told me to sit my saddle back a little further so it wouldn't mess with her shoulders, and I was like, why didn't anyone tell me this? <laughs> and so, yeah, so next time I rode, she still didn't want to move in fear that it would hurt so after a couple of weeks we worked together and I showed her that it wouldn't hurt her to move and she would get tighter and tighter and tighter like as the months went by so we had to come out again and you know sometimes it's just like what you need to do if you have a horse that needs constant care like people they go to they don't just go to the chiropractor once you know they go back like couple times a year or a couple times a month you know whatever is best for you so I think we had him out like every year for a couple of years um yeah but what astonished me was that people kept t telling me to push her until she would move because they thought it was a bad behavior and because I thought they knew more than me. I would listen to them, and some trainers don't know that their horse is in pain. So, yes. And I didn't stop to think about why she was doing that behavior. I was just like, oh, she's being naughty. I should correct this and, you know, make her work. Um, so, yeah, that's my story. <laughs> um, so, an article I read about detecting pain in horses said to ask two questions to figure out if it was pain or behavioral. And the first question is how? Are you asking for something that makes sense to your horse? Are you sitting differently? Are you making it clear what you want your horse to do? Um, are your cues correct and obvious to them? Um, yeah, and then the second question is, why? Why is your horse acting this way? Is it physical? Does all of your tack fit correctly? Are their teeth floated? Are they sound on their feet? Is your horse fit enough for the activity that you're asking them to do? Um, are they acting normally? So, yeah, some signs of pain or not acting right is... If they are not eating or they are reluctant to eat right away. And the most important thing is to know what your horse is doing. Because what your horse is normal is. Because if they're out in a pasture and they're kind of lower on their like pecking order. They might not want to eat right away because they want the higher up horses to eat. So you have to know your horse is normal before you are like, oh, they're not eating right away. Something must be wrong. But, you know, they usually don't eat right away because they don't. They're just checking out the, like, dynamics. They're just checking out the dynamics of the herd that day. So, I mean, you might not know. Um, other signs. Horses standing with all four feet bunched up. Like, under themselves. Like, if you can imagine, like, a goat standing on a rock. If they're standing like that, it could mean that there's pain in the back, hock, or stifle. So can mean that they're sore. Um, horses that are looking at their stomach, like looking back at their stomach, or are wanting to lay down, that can be a sign of colic or other discomfort. So horses that are suddenly hard to catch, 
horses that are sweating a lot when not being worked, like, okay, not regarding heat or weather, but, you know, if they're sweating a lot in, like, patchy areas, it could be a sign that they're in pain. Um, yeah, so if you learned anything from this video, is that the most important thing to know before deciding whether your horse is in pain or if it's just, you know, bad behavior is to know what's normal for your horse. And if you still aren't sure, then consult a veterinarian. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope this helped. Um, that's all I've got for you today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.